From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. the play fake to Kamara it's Breeze and oh right away he lost the football and it's picked up by the Patriots and he's into the end zone it's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown huge huge play by the defense not only to force the fumble obviously but to return it for a touchdown and i know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home well, i always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often no they're not choreographed very well usually <laughs> a good hold in these wet conditions the point after is up and good and it's now a seven nothing game Preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Breeze to throw. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 10 yards, good for his Saints, first down. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know, they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That catch good for five. It's third down. Emmanuel Sanders. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. Shotgun now for Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Breeze on the hook up to Thomas for the New Orleans first.
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Bree's going to throw. Oh, going for Sanders down feet. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. That goes for a gain of 31. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Kamara trying again. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Yeah, he is marked down right about on top of that imaginary yellow line, but they say he's a bit short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. And goal. The offense is going to stay out there. We'll see what the play call is. They need to find the right one here on fourth and goal. They run. It's Kamara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara taking it in. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, there was no secret there. They were in goal line formation. They wanted to pound it in on fourth and goal, and they did just that. And how about the challenge? That's a challenge to the offensive line, which they eagerly accept. I haven't met a lineman yet that doesn't want to run the ball more than throw it because they get to fire out and really smack someone. And, boy, they got it done. I'm sure they were encouraging them on the side. Let's go, and let's run the ball as well. And they put it in for six. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Now Bolden on the return. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. These two teams all tied after one. Seven to seven. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. 35-yard line. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. Getting it out left side to Sanu. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. 
To throw again on second down. Newton, slant route, caught by Edelman. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. On second down, Michelle. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. The ball carrier. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And that is incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. The Patriots send out their punter. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And out onto the field comes New Orleans. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. And he'll start with a give to Kamara, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside, and so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. First down. Breeze, one of the best ever in these situations as he's trying to get his guys set. On first down, Breeze. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Dietrich Wise Jr. able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, Nichols set five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. The question is, why didn't he throw it away? To try again after the sack. Breeze. And he's going to go down again. Enjoy. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe with a run. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens.
And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. A final shot before half for Breeze. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And this is going to be incomplete. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that now he'll escape to his left he'll have a first down past the 40 and he's got it across the 50 to the 47 yard line big yardage there on the scramble it gets him a first down so an instance there of cam being cam we know he can use his legs and with that big body it's hard to get him down even if you get a clear shot on him Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Newton on the left side, a catch by White. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. From the gun on third down, Newton. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at the 40. At their own 40-yard line. They begin on the ground with Kamara. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 45 on second down, Breeze and brought in by the tight end Cook. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On first and ten, here's Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Breeze again here on second and ten. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Incomplete on the throwaway. He was covered by Stephon Gilmore. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check-down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. 
Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And in enemy territory last time through the interception, we'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How, how much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try to take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's Newton. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that at just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Second and 10, Newton again. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. And they'll halt things here for an injury. And that looks to be Sony Michelle who's down. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Ball carrier. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. And bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They keep it on the ground, White again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost four there, and it's third down. Back now in Foxborough. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. Throwing on third down, Newton. This is White on the screen. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. On for the field goal, a 56-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good, and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick, just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range, gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty, and now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post, and this thing could be over. Breeze now on first down. And down he goes, a coverage sack. Took too long to get rid of it. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. 
Another try after the first down sack. Breeze on the crossing route complete. It's Sanders. Breeze. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Throwing now is Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. A tenth carry for Kamara. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. The tackle made this drive is turning into an extended ball. one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys going to want to run up and tackle him. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So Newton and the Patriots down 10-7, just under two minutes to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of those blood pressure clips and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Newton to throw. Open man is Asi Asi, the tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now it's Newton. And it's incomplete. 
Nikhil Harry was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's White. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Ready? Second Watch down out. and five. They run it again with Kamara. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the knee. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.